Today I want to talk about the very basics of working with 3D text in HitFilm 4 Pro. So we're going to start by creating a new composite shot that we're going to work within. And then inside this composite shot, I'm going to create a text. Click on the little lay icon, drag where I want my text to be. And then I'm going to type in my text that I want to work with. Uh, from here, I can use the text tab, adjust the size of it. I can adjust the justification or even the font or whatever. But for this purpose, this will work just fine. Now all I have to do is hide it because I won't actually need that anymore. It's just there as a reference. I'm going to create a new layer, plain layer, make sure it's white. Click OK. And then I'm going to add two effects in HitFilm 4 Pro. The first one is a set matte effect. I'm going to drag that onto the new plane. And then I'm also going to add a 3D extrusion layer only effect. OK, now on the set matte, I'm going to source layer, new text. And there it is. All right, and then what I need to do is I need to add a 3D point that I can control that uh, text with. So I'm going to add a new layer, point layer, and it's a control point. So I'm going to call it control, and I'm going to make it a 3D point by clicking here and changing there. It's going to ask me if I want a camera, and I say yes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is under the th new plane, under 3D extrusion, position, transform from, and I'm going to transform from that control point. Okay, now if I want to mess around with other things, I sure can, like the depth, for example. I'm going to adjust that to 50 pixels just to make it a little deeper so you can see it. But again, it's just all details from there. You just sort of play with it. So under the control point, transform, you have the X, Y, and Z rotation points. And if I start messing around, say with the Y, for example, then you can see that it's very easy to control that. Resetting. If I want to control, say, the X, I can go for tipping it forwards or backwards this way. Let me reset that. Or the Z rotates it side to side on the Z axis. So for example, if I wanted to tip it back maybe a little bit, turn it a little bit sideways, and then adjust it this way, all of a sudden I have a pretty nice little 3D effect here. And you can see how nice that really looks. Uh, and that's it. That's the basics. It's just that simple. Everything else there is, is just more of. Uh, you just play around with lighting of it. You play around with fonts or with uh, uh, keyframing it so it flies in or spins around or does whatever. You can make it into a, a sort of a 3D lower third. Whatever you want to do, it's just messing around and playing with it from there. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.